Hey. And just like that, we're <laughs> fucking back, baby. Oh, man. Oh, we're man. We're fucking back. Oh, man. We did yeah. it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> yes, sir. Let me trip and out stuff. <laughs> Yo, let me, let, me, let me just preface this by saying we have an individual all mm-hmm. the way from the north. Mm-hmm. Up north. north. Up north, eh? Up north. This is the guy right here. Sophisticated. I'll, legends introduce themselves, so I'll let, allow you to do that. What's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Don. Uh, I run Butter on the Commons, a clothing brand down in Toronto. And yo, thanks for having me, guys. I appreciate this like this lit experience. Nah, for real, yeah. bro. Yeah. Appreciate, appreciate you coming you. out. You know, yeah, my boy came real. all the way from his B and B in Times Square right now. <laughs> bro, we Same. came from the South Bronx, but now we moved to B- the Times Square B and B. So it's cool. Bronx. You doing it up right now? Yeah, it's lit. Oh man, got to yeah. get the fuck out the Bronx. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We love the Bronx. We love Bronx the Bronx. is a wonderful place, man. Shout out to the Bronx. Shout out 137. My brother stay in the Bronx. I love the Bronx. You feel me? Just saying. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got Dom here for those who are listening on Spotify or Apple in case. Ant, you know what I'm saying? WM20s. Oh, yeah. Alejandro, WM20s. <laughs> well, why are you, why are you They call me Blackie Chan. W- <laughs> <laughs> cool Hands, Lou, Freddie, oh, whatever man. they call me. WM20. Yeah, and we got Andy in the background. Yeah, shout out to Andy, Andy man. Shout, shout out to Andy. Andy. Shout out to my boy Andy. Chang. Yeah. W- WM20s. WM20s. Yeah. Respect that. Yeah. yeah. It was high in here, yo. But yes, it is. Yes, oh, it is. Man. Yo, so it's interesting the way that uh, we got connected, right? How did that happen, yo? Like, yo, I think it was just one of those Instagram type vibes where you're exploring on explore page and shit. Really? And then oh, really? yeah, I came across your whole squad, or maybe you guys like some of my shit, then I like some of your shit. Yeah. And then uh, yo, I and then I wanted to send you guys gear. Yeah, yeah. So you guys could, cause I seen you guys working hard still. You guys were doing your creative direction shit. It was vibes. Yeah, or, but I was just like, yo, that's so crazy how like somebody we never met in toronto like we somehow sat, saw each other's like content and shit like that i'm like i guess it's yeah. like normal for some people that's the like, beauty of social media for yeah because that it's happened like what like two years ago that was if anything it was like 20 late 2018 oh wow so yeah. this is a, stretching back for a while yeah 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 i mean that's the, i guess you know one thing to consider too is like i guess if you run in the same field the world becomes kind of smaller mm-hmm. you know what i'm yeah. saying yeah. yeah. As, as you grow, yeah, the places you go get smaller. That's facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what is your brand called again? It's called Butter on the Commas. Butter on the Commas. Yeah. What is the history behind Butter on the Commas? The gist of it, basically, okay, so I always explain this and I always, like, explain it differently. So, here it goes. <laughs> um, all right, so you got pancakes, right? <laughs> pancakes incomplete without the butter. Mm. So, when you put the butter on the pancakes, everything is smooth. That's it. Mm. That's it. Mm-hmm. So when you put butter on the commas, it's when essentially you're chasing your passion, your dreams, things that, you know, keep you happy, inspire you. And when you chase that so hard, it becomes your life. And essentially the money comes in. So the butter is on the commas. Mm. And boom, everything is all good to go. Like you don't got to worry about nothing except just making yourself, keeping yourself happy. Mm. You know? yeah. That's I'll a dope concept. Yeah. Stay motivated. For real. Yeah. You know, I, I never would have like, really guess that because i was it's funny because i was looking at the um the tag and i was wondering i'm like there has to be some really dope story behind like the the name because it's it kind of rolls off the tongue i was like yo how does it how does it make sense and i'm really i'm really feeling that philosophy that you just laid down right there that's that's, that's fire everyone actually has a different perception like every time i ask somebody after they before i even tell them yeah it's always some different stuff but that's (laughs) the beauty of also, streetwear itself, like everyone has their own interpretation. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, so yeah. it's how to go down. You know what I was thinking about when I read it? You remember the um, the guns and butter? Like, guns and butter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's your guns. Oh. There's your butter. You know Baby what I'm boy. saying? Yeah, and that's exactly right. what I thought about. Yeah. That was like my first thought. So it's interesting that you mentioned that everybody has their own interpretation. That's yeah. exactly um, how I took it. You know so what's funny about that shit too? Like I seen somebody on my brother's 2K, and they 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 had the name Guns and Butter. Mm. And apparently that's like a economic term. It yeah, is. That's what he was, I didn't know that. Is. I had no clue. Yeah. I just thought that was an ASAP Rocky song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that track was a banger too. That was the first one I bumped yeah. when uh, when that. Yeah, I, I was dropped. Dropped. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. So uh, I have to ask. Uh, one, this is like a two part question. Have you been to uh, New York before? I have when I was young, then I have with one friend, and then this is my first time with my actual guys. So honestly, chilling with your guys versus 
chilling with your family on vacation is yeah. so different. different. Yeah. different. Like, I could be myself, mm-hmm. we all ourselves. If <laughs> yeah. like, we want to turn up at fucking 7 a.m., bro, yeah. we pouring up, like, whatever, yeah. like, you know? In so, a sense, you kind of bring, like, a piece of home with you, like, when sure. you bring your people somewhere. Facts. Yeah. So yeah. how does it, like, like, how does it differ from where you're from? Out here? Yeah. Oh, mad. <laughs> what? Like, That's crazy. Wow. Like, I, like, I honestly love that. I love the grime, the hustle here, like, yeah. You know that like the first the first time the first day we we landed, mm-hmm. uh, we hopped in the subway and then we seen it was just like the movies, bro. When someone like pops up in the in the random cart and then they're like, oh excuse me everybody, like what's up? Oh, yeah, like, yeah, they, they all um, do it's a hustle, yeah, blah, blah. Yo, the bro did a crazy dance. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was doing like some next level sit ups and shit on the bars and shit. Some like, of them are really talented. Yeah, yeah. some of them is really nah, talented. Do. Did, did he get money? He got money. All right. <laughs> if he's doing that like three minutes per car, I was, if he's doing math like that, I rate that. All right. So the shout out to that man on Yo, the call. Shout, out, shout to out to that guy. Read him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 100%. man. See, I don't know. I've never been to uh, Toronto, but like, I remember like on the BTB, I said, "Yo, listen." I said, I, "London would be the place," but I was like, "Yeah, they're like our our European cousin." I feel like Toronto is kind of like. Canadian the, the Canadian cousin of New York. <laughs> cousin yeah, next door, I'll, down the block. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. a lot of people see uh, New York, um, no Toronto, to be. Somewhat similar to New York in like the sense of how it goes down out there, yeah. But Would, the thing about New York is more compact out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah it's yeah. like Toronto is a bit spread out more, mm-hmm. and honestly, like the love out here is genuine. Like it's vibes. It's not over there. You don't. It's not that, that it's not. Gen- it's not that it's not um, genuine over there, but it's definitely more difficult. I find it for myself, maybe like just difficult to connect. You know, like work together type of vibes. Mm. Yeah, sometimes it gets like that. Okay. Do you think it's because people are not necessarily in line with the vision that you have or they're not interested in the same things that you're interested in? Something like that cuz like everyone some sort of has everyone has some sort of chip on their shoulder, right? Yeah. And so mm-hmm. Okay. Also you, all, you a lot of people got a mindset of like um, say using someone to get up and then, you know, like chess piece. Mm. Chess piece vibes. This number yeah. just like on some real, I'm just trying to help you and you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. It's funny because I was just having this um, kind of discussion yesterday with um with my, my, my people's Tom and Jalen. Shout out to John, Tom and Jalen. Um, I was saying how like, I feel like if you're trying to get up, but at the end of the day, if you're going to be eating at the table by yourself, then like, are you really winning? Like, that sounds mad boring, you know what I'm saying? I feel mm. like I feel more fulfilled when my people are right there. We eating the same food at the same table, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's, that's the facts. kind of philosophy that I live by. I feel like that's when you really know that you're doing something. Because to me, like, if you up there alone and you, you're still going to be upset, you're still going to be lonely, and you're not really doing it, you know what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. facts. Your people's not up, your family's not up, you know? Yeah. That's just the kind of mentality that I feel like all of us have i mean i'm not gonna speak for all y'all but you know what i'm saying yeah, like, yeah. that's that's just how i feel well it's a matter of sharing the vision too for real yeah like you guys gotta be able to like with my team like it's a uh, really important to communicate all that shit like you know we, even if you're having tough times being creative and shit it's like you gotta be able to communicate in a way that's like okay he's going through some so let him go through some and then mm-hmm. when he's ready Boom, back at it. Right. Type vibes. Because I do take my breaks on social media or even creating to really just mm. reset, you know, cult- cultivate my what my vision is and then mm-hmm. go back at it, right? Yeah. So um, did you start this, like, uh, at least initially, like, solo or did you have anybody that you were collaborating with? I started solo and um, now I got three other bodies uh, rolling with me. Nice. Um, but we started out, like, late 2016, early 2017. Oh wow, that's about the same for us. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's about, lit. yeah. yeah. Good times, good times. Shout out to 2016. Great, great <laughs> right. summer. Great Yo, summer. 2016, 2017. Shit. Yo, we were young. <laughs> that we, were, we had no restrictions. We we're going up. Yo, yeah. my god. Now I seen this yeah. one meme. It was like, Yo, y'all gonna be talking about the 20, the summer of 2016 for like the yeah, till y'all 80, like let it go. But I'm like, <laughs> Y'all wasn't there. That's why y'all that's say this. Fact, yo. Damn, I mean. Yeah, history repeats itself. Hopefully, they live a life like. A summer like that. Yeah. That summer was cool. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was the music or yeah, something. I, I think so. A lot too. of it the music influenced the music. Music. yeah. Because a lot of it those bangers that year. Those bangers out there. What came out that year? Just out of curiosity. What um, I remember is like Travis Scott. Travis um, Scott, Drake and Future's yeah, album. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I remember the Underachievers was was big at that point too. The Underachievers had come out. Frank Ocean. Uh, Lil Uzi Vert. Blonde in 2016. Yeah. Lil Uzi Vert. 
mm-hmm. and everybody was listening to that P's and Q's shit. There was bangers for every vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah that much is true. For when sure. was the EXO tour life out? 2017. That was 2017. Was yeah, it 2017 that was, or yeah. was it 2018? Nah, it was 2017. Mm. I remember that year very vividly. Like, I slept on that track so hard, and then once they played it at a function, I was like, whoa. Sometimes you need to hear it at the function yeah. for it to really <laughs> laugh. Like, you get, you get it once you get around. Like There's a certain situation for it, I feel like. Yeah, certain like, moment. that's how I felt with, uh, what, what song was it? Like, not even just a song, like Pop Smoke. Like, I didn't really get it by myself, per se. You got to be out. You got to be out. You got to be out. And you got to see how, like, it's something special when when somebody drops something and you can see how people just take to it. Yeah. Everybody doesn't do, everybody doesn't have that effect. So, you know what I mean? Not to mention being from New York. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, all right, damn, you got to appreciate it. While Yo, was Pop Smoke as, as popping over there? And up Because, you know, here in New York, obviously, that shit. You went crazy. Yeah, no, Pop, like, welcome to the party. Yeah, that was crazy. I was kind of late to that track. But when I, once I heard that and heard everything else, I was like, shit. Like, it's lit. It's lit. <laughs> yeah. 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 Where was Pop Smoke from? He's from uh, Brooklyn. Canarsie, Canarsie yeah. He was yeah. From yeah. Canarsie. Yeah. That's a fact. Yo, so you consider yourself like a designer or what would you say you are? It's kind of multidisciplinary. I can't even lie. But okay. for the main part, I would say design. Like when I was really cooking up butter, like in the beginning stages. Yeah. Um, it was Adobe Illustrator all the way. Okay. Like, and you to, went I, to like. No, I had to. Um, I was taking school for finance and then I finished. But mm. see, I'd have class at 10 a.m. Mm. And then I lived so far from the school, I had to take a. Like a some, it's like L I R R vibes. L I like the. Mm-hmm. So I had to take the Go Train, but it's called the Go Train in Toronto. Uh-huh. Go Train to downtown. That's where I went, and then it was like 8 a.m. So I'd have two hours open, and I'd literally pull up my YouTube tutorials. There was like this whole like 32 episode. Yeah. How to do Adobe <laughs> Illustrator, and like yeah. I learned like that. So nah, like, that's yo. Shout out to shout out to the YouTube. YouTube you know, like, you know what I'm saying. It should be holding it down. Yeah, you know I mean, like yo, you didn't go to college. Fuck it, you got YouTube. You got the internet. <laughs> you got the internet. internet, internet Everything you can fucking want is on the internet, and I mean that in the verse most literal way possible. Whatever you want, you can find it. So that yeah. word. So what do your homies do like on the on the team? Like everybody has okay. their own like uh like Role. position. Yeah, yeah Role. so I got Sarah, Jasper, and Ray, right? Jasper was here with me in New York. Um Jasper does like more products and helps me with like inventory stuff. Also like just concepts as well. Like everyone does a fair bit of design. Mm. As far as pitching ideas and like you know, I can't. I wouldn't be able to do this without them type of vibes. Mm-hmm. Ray, he's like an embroidery machine master. Like mm-hmm. yeah, he he taught me a lot, and he essentially I seen him working real hard, and then we connected. We went to high school together, so after um, after we chopped it up a few times, I was like, word, like let's let's push this then. And then uh, Sarah, she's on some creative directing type stuff, so yeah, she helps me with the shoots and everything. Nice. Yeah. Uh, word. So you guys try to like do shoots often and shit like that. Cause I remember when we first saw your page, like I was going was crazy a, with the shoots. Yo, it was like a dope vibe. Like a lot of film stuff too, right? Was yeah. It? Facts. Yeah, and like just like the whole you know the way it was framed and just like also just like, obviously the the products themselves were, were cool designs and they just looked dope. But I started off with film. Yeah, my mm. boy put me up on film, and I was rocking with that for so long until like. Probably like the end of last year, I picked up my Sony A6400, mm. AX400, yeah. and now I'm trying to master the digital life. The digital life is so different though. <laughs> Settings, like manual, aperture, like I'm trying to get good with all that. It's, it's a process. I feel like the one thing that I love about digital is the freedom that you have after you take the picture. Like I guess you know what I'm saying once you choose your film stock, you know what I mean. It kind of does a lot of the I'm going to say that a lot of work, but you know what I mean? It kind of dictates how it's going to feel, per se. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With a digital, you take the flick, and the shit is just naked. It's, it's, it's fairly yeah. flat, almost boring. Then it's like, all right. It's a canvas. It's a canvas, and yeah. you're free to just do. So then you throw it up on the editor, and then yeah. you just throw your presets up. Yeah, fire. I still got to crack. I got to get my crack Photoshop up. Yeah, yeah. No, it's so <laughs> difficult. I'm on my Donatello nerd shit when I'm trying to like find how to like get the YouTube video download free Wait. thing and it, yeah. Yeah, bro, yeah, it worked with Adobe Illustrator, so it'd be like that. Yeah. It really do be like that. But, yeah, yo, I mean, shout out to everybody cracking shit. 
Respectfully, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I, I, I bought mine, so don't come for me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Adobe. Like, shout out we, to the, what's it called? The Pirate Bay? The you Pirate The Pirate Bay. The Pirate Bay era. They had some wicked ads on that shit, yo. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm Very crazy. much so. Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yeah. you remember LimeWire, bro? Now, yo, oh my God. LimeWire was, was, a, yeah. was an error. Like, you see, like, yo. Yeah, for real. You know what's crazy about LimeWire? Like a different life. Like, they said that Spotify pretty much pitched their concept of streaming music to with LimeWire? with no 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 with music that they illegally downloaded from, from LimeWire. Lime that's so deep. Wow. wow. That's fire. That is they that's they fire. literally took it and was like I'm going to finesse this shit and now we're going to make this shit like a yeah. this is we have legal LimeWire now. Oh my god. Yeah. That's that is move. insane. That's I forgot who I saw post something about this but it was like yeah like in in the LimeWire days when you would download the song and then manually find the album cover yep, so yeah. you could match it. I think I it. sent that to you. Oh, Yo, I think I sent that, that to was you. literally no, in high school, story. middle school yeah. era, bro. Like that shit was like uh, that's how I knew I had like some sort of OCD, bro. Because I I hated that blank ass cover. Yeah. Or if it was a random picture, if you a dog oh, sometimes, I'm like, yo, who is he's cute, but that's not what Who's I wanted. Dog, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Like, dog, the what? question mark, bro. Oh, the man. question mark was yeah. crazy. <laughs> the yeah. kids of today will never understand, bro. I know bro. that is fact. They don't yo. get it. They won't. Bro, they're they're iPad the generation. The iPad manually, generation. Bro. Like they don't know about that piff. They don't know about that oh, piff. Oh, is that still up? It is. Yeah. Nobody cares. Nobody goes Nobody on cares. the traffic. You still download stuff from that thing? I believe so. Yeah. Oh, where? You know what I mean? It's that just mixtape central. Like I feel like our childhood was so like lit because we were a part of this like in between kind of stage. Like mm-hmm. we were young enough to like I remember when I didn't have internet. Yeah. The internet was a thing before I, I was a thing, obviously. Yeah, yeah. But like it wasn't as widespread. Easily accessible. Yeah. Right? And, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like internet you, was expensive, bro. Internet was expensive right. and you had to fucking unplug your phone in order to use this shit at first. Yeah. The dial up. The oh, dial up. Love. Yeah. Oh, love. And then you know what I'm saying, half of the time, like I was you know what I mean, my mom wasn't buying me like half of the games and shit. So I had mm-hmm. to go over to my boy crib. My boy had GTA. My mom was letting me play GTA, all shit. that shit. So we had that experience, but then we came into like we, we grew up around a time where like, you know, social media in mm-hmm. its infancy came into fruition. Yeah. yeah. So like it's a really interesting time. I feel like, you know what I mean, the kids that are in the generation after us, they just were born with this. Yeah. We were kind of, yeah, we were kind of able to experience both. Yeah, like, yeah. A lot of people they talk about yeah. like the old world and like what shit was like before like yeah, that we super played with toys. Yeah, we played yeah. with yeah. toys. Or action bro. figures yeah. and shit. I remember I, going outside, Dragon, bro. bro. Like when's the, the last Dragon Ball time you Z seen toys, kids bro? You guys have Beyblades out here? Of course. Yeah, oh, Beyblades right. was crazy. I stole one. Y'all yeah. have uh, Bakugan? Bakugan was kind of like, not as good, but it was. I was cool. so shit. I was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was I. It was yeah. I for yeah. what it was. Wasn't as good as Beyblades. How about um? Wait, what's the one where you put the the marbles in the guy, and then it fires? I don't know nothing about. Whoa. That. Oh, I know. Wait, time you know, time you know time what I'm talking time about. Time. It's like you beat him on. Beat him on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know about no beat him on. Beat him on was crazy. That. Yo, that might be beyond Good my enough. you know what I'm saying my expertise. Like each other's like beat him on shit. We was on the bus hitting each other forehead. <laughs> oh, that's wild. For those of y'all that don't know, that's my boy Andy out there. Shout out to Andy. Mm-hmm. Y'all was y'all was young delinquents on the bus. You heard? Nah. Yo, I seen the craziest shit when we were in Dumbo last night. What's that? Not the craziest, I guess, but it was some like real wild shit. Some mm. jits. Okay, so some we're just what? chilling. Some jits. Jits. He, oh, said, he said, what? Was, isn't that, that's isn't Florida, that that's Florida, that's Florida shit, Florida bro? Shit, yeah. That shit I, caught me by surprise for a nah, second. He said some what? I'm just bumping all type of stuff. But um okay so we're just chilling at the you know where the Brooklyn Bridge is yeah yeah uh that whole like that nice little view where it's like the building building then the bridge mm-hmm. and then there's like mm-hmm. places to sit yeah we're chilling there mm-hmm. and then a whole oh, lot yeah. of whole lot of youths come by and uh they're running and shit they're yelling they're screaming there's fucking a bouquet like people selling bouquets and shit mm-hmm. bro like and it's it's, li- it's girls and guys like real crazy grab the bouquet like just whack someone in the head like dash the bouquet just dashing like running like. Just oh shit. my Sounds god! Like These yeah. little motherfuckers have no respect, bro. These jits, bro. <laughs> yo, <laughs> these jits is we, crazy. We know you getting old when you start saying shit like that. <laughs> like, yo, these young people, man. Yo, yo. Nah, real. but like, yo, even when real. I was, bro, nice. I would not do that if I'm 16, 17. But you bro. were a good kid, though. You gotta understand. Yeah, you know yeah but like, you know I, what I'm saying. Yeah, I guess. I know. I know people who would have. Who would have done that? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, bro. Yeah, I mean, at any at any point, but it's like. 
people like that, it's like, yo, that's kind of, that's fucked up. They're, so they're living, you're losing yeah, money. They got no restrictions. They're losing they're, money, yeah. man. Yeah. They ain't, they've been inside for a while. Well, they probably weren't. Nah, I got friends. Like, if they I'm doing curious. that shit, they probably wasn't. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. How was it in Toronto? Was people actually adhering to it? During uh, the pandemic? Yeah, like early pandemic, let's say. It got strict for a second. Like, you couldn't... It, it was some situation where, like, if you were driving with more than four people, they could stop. They were allowed to stop and, like, ask uh, where, where you guys were from or some, some shit. I'm and if you guys weren't... If you guys didn't have the same uh, address on your license type of vibes, you would get fined. <laughs> it's mod. Yeah. That's really wild. Yeah, that's, that's, that's some that. wild shit. Ah man, like that. how was it in Canada? Was it like the cases like super high or it was it was shooting up for a bit? Yeah, okay, it was shooting up and then um we went on a we went on like the longest lockdown. I don't know if you guys know that. Like, like how the longest? Long. Like yeah, it was, actually, I don't even know. yeah yeah like something like that because I just seen some social media stuff where it's like it was like different clock. It was, it was a it was like a person doing different. Like, okay, so he was like this, right? And it's like January, February, yeah. March, you know, like the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So then he did it for the different places in the world. And Ontario or Toronto just kept going round and round. Like, That's yo, like, oh, wow. That's so yeah. like, damn. Yeah, it was wild. I mean, I know, like, people here, people, people, it was like very, uh, I guess, split. There was people who were really hardcore about it, and then there was people who really didn't give a fuck about it. Just yeah. outside, yeah, just outside. I mean, I, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I was, <laughs> I was the most inside thing. Um, I mean, I'm a fairly we... inside guy in general, but I mean, like when I, when I had to do something, I I, I did it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you didn't let it really yeah. stop you, stop you, but. Mm. But I Yo, mean, at that point, there's necessities that you got to take care of. Right. Yeah. Like I wasn't going to functions like that, yeah. but you know, if I needed being to go inside was pretty like. It was good and bad sometimes. That, mm-hmm. If I wasn't inside so much, I wouldn't get into anime. <laughs> I agree with you. That was my first time doing like trying anime. I was like, "Work." Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Tell me that. Yeah, that's I recently crazy. got that's into late. that shit too, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was, yeah. That shit. I fucking Naruto crazy. heavy. Or yeah. yeah. Now I'm. Oh, watching. you started that? I started with Naruto. And then, what do you want? Because isn't that like 900 episodes or some shit like that? Well, mm-hmm. collectively. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> you know, it, you it gotta understand long. the stories change. Like it gets yeah. so different but as like, you go through that. But like, do you? It's not hundred episodes. But yet. like to finish it completely, to get the full thing, you you'd want to watch the most of it, right? Bro. Yeah, but also I feel nah. like Naruto has one of the largest amounts of filler episodes. Oh, okay. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Granted, the filler episodes are really good. Yeah. But you could theoretically just Google the like the filler arcs to skip. Yeah. You could even just Google like there are people who will tell you like what they feel about certain filler arcs that they feel yeah. like are, are must watches. Yeah. And then you can just. Skip I still don't think I'd ever watch fact. that shit, yo. Fuck that. What shit. the fillers or what? That just Naruto? Nice. Yeah, yeah. I, really? I, I, don't think I watched I like it when. I was what like you super guys, young. You guys like Hunter X Hunter then? I, yeah, I, was, yeah, I'm, I ain't gonna front. Hunter was, was Hunter was good. You don't like that shit? Naruto I changed my life. Yeah. So I didn't finish it yet, but I already know Me why. Neither. Why he found his pops or some shit. Like I seen one of my boys post that pops was a deadbeat. Oh ah, come on, yeah, I didn't get <laughs> yeah. there yet. Um, well, you'll you have your own opinion when you get there. Like, all right, nah, right, that's, right. that shit. Yeah. I didn't even finish that part yet. Like I say, like for me, I like short ones. Like I like the ones that you could kind of finish. Like that was like a twenty six episode or something like that. That's my shit. I fucks with like something Isn't where it's one punch. Actually. One punch is like twelve I love that per one, season. Like yeah. I like my attention span is really short. Like yeah. watching shows. Like I try to watch that money heist show, and I just got you so don't upset. like that. But like, you know I'm what? So you you oh you got tight at the characters. Yeah, yeah I hate that. Fu- Wait, what season are you on? I, I, I stopped. I'm on season. Um, two. <laughs> nah. Yeah, you just canceled out. Nah. Yo, bro, cause that bitch is yeah. always doing some dumb shit. With Tokyo. Nah. Yeah. Ooh, Tokyo. No, was it was it Tokyo? Yeah, Tokyo the short haired one? Yes, yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yo, yeah, yeah. it's like you are supposed to be this seasoned criminal, yet yeah, you're she's... doing everything that a seasoned criminal is not supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm on the last season caught up, but like I I'm like cause now there's another character that pisses me off, so it's like I can't watch Two episodes back to back because I'm like, yo, this shit is annoying me. Yeah. 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 But like I recently watched uh Alex put me on, our boy Alex put me on uh, Berserk, where I watched the first two, uh, you seen those? Berserk, no, I haven't seen that. The movie, you seen those, Berserk? Oh, uh, no, I've never seen Berserk. Berserk, is that, a, story. Is, that, is that on Netflix? Yeah, yeah. Is it all on three, all, all three. three. I need to watch the last one, so it's, it's cool. I mean, that's the first, like, anime movie 
but I've seen, I think. Now nah, you've seen, you probably seen Spirited Away and shit like yeah. that, right? Did you watch Red Line together too? Red, you right. Red Line, You're right. that was I, impressive. I feel like I didn't. Red Line, you know what? Red, Red Line, it's like a racing movie. That's yeah. like, yeah. Real, it's like, it's like one of the most beautiful pieces of yeah. anime. The story is kind of like whatever, but like, like visually. The story was good. Too. I mean, I, it, it was very. It's kind of. That's not. I feel like that's not the the best yeah, part of it. Yeah. Like, no, I agree. It's it's definitely more about the aesthetics. Like you ever play Borderlands? Yeah. It's yeah. literally like if they mm. took Borderlands and kind of made it into an anime oh, about racing. Cool. Yeah, it looks cool. so clean and like depending on um if you listen if you um watch it in uh, Japanese and English, uh, there's a lot of well known like uh, voice actors in the mm. English version mm. that you will catch up on really quickly. Like if you've seen JoJo, Dragon Ball, yeah, Naruto, yeah. like you'll notice voice actors from all these shows in oh, just word. one lit ass movie, uh, so beautifully like created. Shout out to Alex for showing me that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. What's it called? Redline. Redline. Red Red yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that Netflix? Uh, I don't I know. I gotta don't find know. my links for that. I think he had it on DVD. He had it on DVD. I mean, yeah, it might be on like Funimation or Crunchyroll. One of those two will yeah. probably have it. Like I recently watched fucking uh, the the, the Evangelion movies. Like yo, oh man! Like the show, it's like a '90s show that came out like 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 '95. It's like a real mind fuck. It's like about kids, like fucking like teenagers, like middle school slash high school kids who are forced to just operate these alien tech mechs to protect the fucking world from complete oh, obliteration. Yeah, yeah, and then you just so see how it just their mentals just start to deteriorate because damn. they're dealing with their own problems, but then they have mm. to put that to the side and save the fucking world. Damn. Oh, I heard yeah, I think I might have heard that. Like yeah. it's it's pretty popular yeah. and the show is the show is really weird cuz it ends in a way that's crazy cuz like budget and shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. But the movies yeah. take what the show did and just completely fucking reinvigorated and they got a they got a movie budget now so everything looks really yeah, good and shit yeah, that bro movie budget will change everything everything bro yeah. it's on amazon like i would really advise people I'm like yo you could watch the show and then watch the movies that came out with the original show you could do that but i just say yo fuck that and just watch one two three and four like ava ava one two three and four those shits are like really amazing you know what I'm saying? So if anybody's looking for something, Ava, I, I wholeheartedly recommend that shit. Jeez. Respect. Shit, yo. Like, I want to hear about your taste in music because, you know what I'm saying, that's just, that's what we bond. I think that's what music? we collectively bond over. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Well, I like trap. I like I like all types of music. Okay. But mm-hmm. it really depends on how I'm feeling, though. Like, yeah. if I go to the gym, it's trap. Word. Sometimes it's uh, lofi. You call it lo-fi? Lo-fi. Lo-fi. lo-fi? lo-fi. Yeah, lo-fi. Okay. Lo- lo-fi. Mm-hmm. Um, what's that? What's that YouTube? <laughs> look Hold on. They, they say lofi up there or something? I've heard lofi, lofi. I don't know. Okay. That's you why. You about I, to say the shit with the little kid drawer. Yeah. 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 On YouTube? Sleeping cow or something? Oh, Sleeping yeah. cow is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Chill yeah. cow. Chill cow. Chill cow. Chill cow. Chill cow. Chill cow. Vibes, vibes. Shout out to chill cow, yo. Shout out to chill cow. Hold me down. Hold me down. Cut the check. <clears throat> nah, I can't cut the check. Cut the check for the one time. Yeah. I love <laughs> <laughs> Shit. But yeah, so it really goes, my, my taste in music goes all over the place because different music makes you feel different things, you yeah. know, like, and it's there for you for different times. Like, yeah, that's yeah. what I learned from my first interview, actually, like, their whole base of that, that brand was, like, how music is there for you in every single way. It's like, when you, like, for the times you're going through in your life, it's like, you know, you got tracks for that. Mm-hmm. Literally, that that's all it is. You got tracks for everything. Everything. Yeah. Every move. Like sound. Sound is there for you, and no one is there for you type of thing. Yeah. So what do you uh, usually listen to when you feel like you're in a creative mood and you're um, pushing out a project? Like, what inspires you most? If you could uh, pinpoint exactly what you what mm. you would be feeling at that moment. Oh, some, some, like, some motivating, like, hustle-type vibes, like, at, like, you could do like J. Cole. Mm-hmm. Um, if I really want to, if sometimes, it depends what mindset I'm in too. Like if I'm getting lit while I create, mm-hmm. then, <laughs> got, then sometimes I just crank up the future Hendrix and just, uh, boom, yeah. future Hendrix, whole sesh. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm creative, but I'm toxic too. I'm weak. <laughs> I'm weak. Sensational. So, I'm Yo, sensational. sensational. <laughs> I love cheesecake. I haven't had New York cheesecake yet. Oh, actually. you got to change that. Brother. Not here yeah. at least. Oh, uh, man. You got to do that. You got to do Bro, that. You said you're leaving tomorrow. I see you got time. You got time. You got time. Yeah, so uh, where do you guys recommend to get cheesecake? Oh, man. Because I need some some of that shit. High key. um, 
my favorite cheesecake of all time is at the French workshop in Garden City. I ain't even gonna hold you. And it's um creme brulee. What? <gasps> Yo, this nigga face was like you uncultured swine. <laughs> nah, that shit is fire, bro. Yo, what? What's it called? French workshop. French workshop. It's on yeah, man. Write that down. Nah. It's the way Wait, where is that? Is that far nah. from Times Square? Not. Nah, nah, it's dead like Island. it's dead like like fifteen minutes from here. But that shit is French so workshop. good. I mean, you could go to Juniors. It, juniors is high, right, in my opinion. In my opinion. Where's Juniors? Brooklyn. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't eat cheesecake, but I just know New York cheesecake is supposed to be really good. Signature. Oh yeah, what the fuck? That is a thing, it's right? A thing. New York, New cheesecake. York cheesecake. Yeah. I, I don't know much. Yo, about that's it. hilarious. I never like put two into like. Uh, yeah. I mean, I fucked with cheesecake, but like New I York forgot style. that that's like a name. New York that's cheesecake. New, New York cheesecake. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Like, what other New York staples? Pizza? Yo, that like yeah. $1 slice. You had them? Uh, you know what? Today I had Joe's. You ever had Joe's? Nah. Joe's, nah. Joe's. Oh, the $1 Joe's slice. Yeah, the one yeah, Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. The one oh, Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah, it's a joke. Okay, and okay, you okay. could get the um the cold cheese slice. You had that shit? No, I haven't oh, had that's that. Oh, that's, no. that's what all them drunk Yeah, that shit making me want pizza. Bro. Today I had my, that, today was my first slice of pizza out here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How was it? Delicious. Oh, halal food, yeah, bro. Hol- we yeah. Oh, halal, yo, you halal. in Times Square tonight? I had I had a uh, halal boys and halal guys. Halal guys, oh, they, they both slap. Guys. They both they, slap. Right, yeah. Consistently, yeah. they slap it's consistently. Good out here. Did good you out. have a bacon egg and cheese? I had that this morning. Hey, you know hey. what? I didn't really taste the cheese, but <laughs> I definitely. You had a, you ain't had I definitely <laughs> prefer um the chopped cheese. I was about oh, to say the chopped cheese. Chop cheese. Bro, yeah, yeah, we've been chilling at the bodega, the delis. I'm gonna make like a t-shirt inspired like hey. deli boys like deli boys yeah nah, i'm gonna tell you what the what the real you know what i mean real finesse is you gotta get the bacon egg and cheese right then you get salt pepper and ketchup on it yeah but then you get real freaky on them right and then you put a hash brown in there too mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you can put the waffle Shit. fries that's some elite mcdonald's vibes yo it McDonald's is but better is but better well i ain't gonna fry ain't nothing really better than that that uh what's that shit called the McGriddle. The McGriddle what? is crazy. Yo, the McGriddle is crazy. nothing yeah, better yeah, than that. Now for breakfast sandwich wise, it's nothing. That like pancake like, shit, bro. Yo, you had a bagel out here? Nah, yeah, no. No New York bagels? I mean, isn't what's, not, it, what's the name of bacon, really. egg, and cheese kind of in the, in the bagel, or is it like no, a specific no, no, no. roll? Oh, yeah, yeah, the bagel, true, yeah, bro. True, true, true. true that shit is different because it's it's different. the water is different, bro. Yeah, you know that's how it we makes the that sediment in there. All yeah, that that's what makes the bagel taste how it tastes because wherever a bagel is from, you use the local water. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Isn't that just anything though? <laughs> 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 Yo, yeah, but but the bagel stands out. <laughs> yeah, bro. I mean, <laughs> think about the type of water that we got yeah, here, bro. Nigga, <laughs> yeah, bro. Dude, I would never get a that bagel. Shit tastes that shit tastes bro. Nigga, what? Yo, oh New York God. water, bro. Yo, sorry, y'all. Like, come on now, y'all know. Bro, I, there was water. these YouTubers that I watched one time. Matter of fact, they they like they kind of like take challenges, hmm. right? And one of the challenges was to to make New York bagels without a recipe. And one guy dead ass had his sister fly from New York with a bucket of water, bro. Dead ass. She checked that shit on the plane and everything, and gave him the water. And they showed him using the water to fucking make the bagel, bro. Yeah. Dead ass. Yeah. Crazy. Why? Yeah. <laughs> what you mean oh, why? There's a reason why. why. <laughs> nah, that's different. You see no water, bro. You know. It's gross. Yeah, you that's know? what make the bagel taste so I good, mean, that bro. Could be it, though. That is, could is, be it. is the tap water drinkable here? No, you shouldn't. No. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I didn't drink we'll it. agree to disagree. Let's put it that way. I didn't drink it, but yeah, we're, we Please got the bread and bro, the, like, the bread. If you out to eat, you water, your stomach. Most of free water cups is tap water from the restaurant. Yeah. yeah, shit. I mean, I, I felt a lot better before I knew that. You, you didn't know, know that? No. Where you think they got it from? One of these? Yeah. Nah, Police hell friends? no. They yeah, just, they ain't gonna use money. They going straight from the <laughs> tap. Nah, that's, that's, that's why strange. it depends though. Certain restaurants be you could you could taste it right away yeah. because you you they got like the uh if you have like a dispenser they have like something for the water that could be tap too for all I know but yeah, I feel like tap. a little bit safer seeing that shit come out of a dispensary as opposed to just a, it's an illusion. Yeah, it's a facade, point. bro. Yeah. I, I, I would prefer facade. the facade, though, because sometimes yeah. the facade is, you know what I mean? We the all, placebo effect? Yeah. We, like that. we yeah, all we believe like in some facade. Placebo the effect. placebo. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Speaking of facades, you know what I'm saying? No, I don't have a transit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. What do you guys like to eat out here? Uh, Thai food, Thai food. Bro. Pussy. Thai food. Yep. Hell yeah. Yeah. Thai food is really Hell good. Yeah. Yo, 
that shit is really Chinese. elite. Like, I ain't gonna front. Thai food is like probably well, like uh, Pad Thai. Yo, Pad Thai. Yeah. Yeah, we moved Pat beyond Siu. that. Pad Si U. Pad Si U. Oh, oh yeah. my. That's pretty good. What's that? It's like a thicker noodle. It's like, yo, it's the noodle that you need to get. That's what yeah. it is. It's a flat noodle? Yes, it's, it's a, a flat, flat noodle. noodle. And they put some type of like uh, sauce on it. Like, I don't know what it is. They don't OD with it, though. The, at least the place that I go to, other places choose to, to be more liberal with sauces Isn't and such. Isn't it the same sauce that they put on the, the pad thai? Isn't it just pad thai sauce? Nah. Nah, it's not. It's not pad thai sauce? Nah, nah, nah. nah. They, I think what pad thai uses with that peanut shit? Is that what yeah, they use? Yeah, pad thai, they put peanuts on it after. Oh, yeah, they put it on top. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna be straight. Yep. I don't be getting to pass you, but that should do a clap. You ever uh, are like tacos big up there like that? Because I know that Not Biera in... taco thing. Oh yeah, that's tacos. a hype. That was a, that's a that hype, was a that hype popped thing, off man. like right now over there too. Ish, yeah, oh, it's, it's pretty popping out there. Okay, because yeah. like I Queens, never had beer tacos out here though. You could go to Queens, bro. Yeah, the beer tacos. That shit I don't. I don't yeah. even eat that crazy. shit, but like I know they hook it up clap. over there. Clap. Or yeah, yo, green cactus, bro. Oh yeah, green cactus. What is that a spot? Yeah, Green yeah. Cactus changed my life. Yo, shout out to Green Cactus. Cut the check. Cut the taco. Oh, come on, Cut the taco. Yeah. Cut the ta- Give us like some catering vibes for Yo, that is some shit, bro. bro. <laughs> At this point, I don't even want the bread, bro. I want the food, bro, from them. Yeah. yeah. Right. Vibes, you, did you have an empanada? I wanted to go empanada, mama. That's why I went last time mm. when I was I out here. you had it already. Yeah. And, um, no, I haven't had empanada out here yet from this trip. Okay. Um, I mean, you got time for that. Yeah. Um. Uh... What about? Fuck, I lost. What my else is there? Mm-hmm. Um, tacos. Tacos are solid. Steak. Steak is good. Oh wait, this is off top. Well, not really, but where, where's like, what's your nationality? I I'm, I'm Filipino. Accepted. Filipino. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, you know what? Funny fact, I haven't seen much Filipinos out here. Yeah. Really? There's, there's, there's well, quite now we're weird staying out in the South Bronx. There's negative Filipinos. I used oh, to yeah. you know, negative. I used to work with mad Filipinos at the hospital. <clears throat> like, like you know what I mean. The way that they described it to me is like, just like yo, like the the mountains and shit that they be having over out there in the, the Philippines. Water. Yeah, bro, beautiful. Like I want to go there. I want to go there for sure. Yeah, I should take a trip out there. Is yeah. like how does like the the uh, the currency transfer? Is it like a yo? You're caking out there. See, yeah. this is caking. why we need to go. Yeah. Caking, yeah. I can't yeah. even lie. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. get. You know what I mean? Just the be. Word. This, yo, collab listen. trip Collab trip Y'all ever take a trip As a squad yet? Nah, nah. Even uh, a road trip, no? Nah, but that's We've that's been, been that, talking we've about been, that yeah, For a minute a Document the road trip Yo, if you could pop up Anywhere with the studio equipment oof, Yeah That's, that's literally vibes. what We've been yeah. talking about yo. Nah, yeah you, you, you took the, the, the words Right out of our thoughts Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Like, that's a lit vibe I mean, him and uh, Another one of our homies They, they went to uh, They went to Toronto Yeah mm-hmm. Actually Yeah, I was yeah, telling yeah, about that Yeah, Works. you know what I'm saying <clears throat> They didn't tell me <laughs> Yo, that's um, Cap dead. We didn't tell you? No I just left You didn't get the memo Yeah, I wasn't Damn. You just picked either. up and left like that? <laughs> Granted, I didn't have my just passport Just like my dad but... <laughs> 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 uh, I'm just kidding <laughs> Uh, but yeah, nah, Toronto is, is, is a Taking place that I, I want to go. Like, my brother went there already, uh-huh. and, like, uh, one of our close friends has family over there, so he was, like, put up there. He was just like, yo, bro, this shit is somewhere I can see myself, like, living. Toronto, yeah. eh? Yeah. Yo, Toronto's mad diverse. That's something that, that I, that's, I think is important. That's something that, that stands out when, uh, when I, yo, it stands out, actually. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Arab nationalities. You, you travel to, um, what's that other place called up there? That's Vancouver? Like- Nah, it's close, closer to, to Toronto. Uh, Montreal. Yeah. Montreal. Yeah. Montreal. 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 Yeah. Montreal. Yeah. You going yeah. out there? Often? I've been. I've been out there. Um, probably I think twice. Where? Mm. Yeah. Super vibe. Not with my boys though. But okay. Yeah. Yeah. You speak. Uh, did, well, I don't they speak, speak French. French but they, like, yeah. That- so it's the second you cross that. Um, I think. I think if my geography is correct, the second you cross the border type of into Montreal, it's like Quebec. So everything is. Literally French and mm, signs yeah. and everything. Yeah, so stop sign says Aret. Ooh. And um, yeah, that's that's my French and too strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you were able to just you know what I mean communicate and everything for the most part still right? Yeah, because uh, for the most part the secondary is English. Okay. At that point, yeah. So that's nice. You know what I'm still saying? works. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's fire. Americans, unless you are from somewhere else, you just fucking know English and that's it. Yeah. Do you all automatically know Spanish. I mean, they teach in school like they teach French, so I assume. Yeah. What here? Yeah. yeah, they do teach Spanish right? in high school, but, but nobody pays it's attention. That, that fucking like American like 
Spanish. They they want you to know how to ask know, for the bathroom. I don't think yeah. I even took Spanish mm-hmm. in high school. I think I you can Spanish. exempt because it was easy. Nah, know, I, 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 I have Spanish people in my in my Spanish class. Oh yeah, but I think easy. you can exempt if you're if like you don't want to. Yeah, if you know it type shit. I would have done it for the easy grade. Then I That's what I did it for. Shit, you know what I'm <laughs> yeah. But then people be telling me like, "Yo, they be making me trying to speak some different kind of Spanish or whatever." Well, yeah, it is because like you know, like Puerto Rican Spanish. I mean, our Spanish is different, different. too. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, like, Puerto Ricans don't really conjugate. Um, we have different slang words for different things. Yeah. We mostly use slang words, so when they try to teach yeah. us the like proper. the proper term for certain things, it's like, oh, that's what that means. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and it's just mad weird to kind of bring that into your vocabulary. Um, after the fact that it's so big because this is all you've known like your entire life and then they're trying to kind of rewire the way that you think. They mm-hmm. speak you know like, like Spain Spanish? Is that Spain, how we, Spain, right, like, yeah. like Spain. Yeah. But, you know, half the time or most of the time I should say it's it's a non-native Spanish speaker teaching you Spanish. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm. So even then, like, there's that kind of barrier between you and being able mm-hmm. to connect with the language. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. That's interesting. They you, t- got, you guys are Puerto Rican? I'm Puerto Rican. I'm Salvadorian. Salvador. Salvador. Oh, really? Yeah. My girl is Salvadorian. Oh, would they be having Salvadorians like that up there? <laughs> you know what? I think uh, I think they stick together, kind of like Filipinos in yeah. anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. friggin' yeah, because yeah, after yeah. after she's Salvadorian, she has her whole like little Salvadorian peoples too. Oh, they pulled up from the same village type vibes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm. So it's cool. Like it's cool like being with. Yeah, like being connected like that. Now I bump a whole lot of Spanish music. Hey. I was about to ask you. Well, you know what? Actually, that is uh, that's one of the things I bump when I create. Just cause there's, it's enough vibes for me to just mm, get me up like a sick. Yeah, and the like, I don't gotta focus too hard because I don't really words. know too much. You don't know. Yeah. It's kind of like yeah, yeah. fuck a young thug it's too. Like just yeah. like that. Yeah. Yo, so I got a question, right? Cause you're from Canada, so mm-hmm. I gotta I gotta bring up this line of questioning. What is like? How do y'all view Drake? <laughs> oh, <laughs> we. Oh, okay, word. Is he um, like the? Is he like the mayor when he comes town? I, don't, like, I, don't I feel like. I feel like. Seen him? Do you know him personally? No, no, okay. no. One day, one day, perhaps. Yes. Sir. But um, yeah. Now Drake, he's he's respected out there. Yeah. Yeah. But so is all the other artists, right? But Drake seems to have, like, just for, just from my own opinion, like, he kind of held it down. Since, he's been holding it down since time. Yeah. yeah. Like so. He's well respected. When I when I went to Texas, all they were playing was CLB. I was like, "Word." Yeah. And yeah, Drake does have Drake always raps about Texas, so it's sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got family in Texas, that's why I'm always there, Houston. Oh, word. And then yeah, it's cool. Nice. Oh, you be going to Texas often? Yeah, I try to go like once a year. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay cool, cool, cool. So I you know. were just recently there then? I, yeah. I was recently there, just like two weeks ago. That's why this is the end of my vacation vibe. Mm. When I come oh. back, it's straight it's work. Back to you work. On it, yeah. On it. So what is, what's next for uh, um, your brand? What would you say? Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to polish the marketing, the products, mm-hmm. and you know just really solidify my vision and how I want to take the brand moving forward. Uh, take things more, uh, I would say seriously, I guess, as far as expand from hats, shirts, mm-hmm. hoodies. I want to do the whole like tracksuits. Oh, nice! Like you know, like I want to add my I want to add our own vibe because but on the comments is like. It's our culture that we live in, right? Back at home, it's like, yeah, like we like to party and shit, but we also like to, we also grind for yeah, what yeah, we for course. what we like. We get ours how we live, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. just like you guys, right? Yeah. And um, I want to add that touch, so yeah, a whole lot of like roadman vibes. Has there been like any type of like marketing strategy from your end? Would you say like, wh- or was you kind of like, like just throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks? When I first started, yeah. well, I mean, just like I'll say, from then to now, like you know what I'm saying. Oh, okay, that's that's interesting. So, um, as far as what sticks, like for instance, an example is the trucker hats. The second me and Ray linked up, we I well, I had a trucker out before, but when we started putting out more truckers, it was getting us a lot of good feedback, and so I kind of fell into the trucker hat wave, and it's like it got to the point where my homies was like, "Yo, is Butter on the Commas just a hat company?" Mm-hmm. At this point, and so I I want to steer away yeah. from that. I want to put yeah, out my content, yeah. exactly right. <laughs> but you don't want to break what's not broken, right. yeah. fix what's not broken. But you also don't want to just stay stagnant. You want to, you know, like go it. up. Yeah. So along with the clothing, giving people more value to like entertainment. I want to have like I want to do cooking with butter, for instance, <laughs> a cooking show. Yo. And that's e- that's yeah. even just like the process. So you don't have to be a cooking show. Like it could be like my broski yeah. teaching 
How to roll. How to Yo, roll. Yo, cooking with butter. That's a fire name. Yeah, yeah. Super that is fire. It's lit. Super fire. And I also have this other idea that I, I got to... I gotta put in some more like like uh, oh, foundation, yeah. yeah. But it's essentially called like conversation. Mm. Yeah, so that's all I gotta say about that. Mm. One. Mm. I really gotta execute that though. Yeah. So <laughs> hold up, yeah, this yeah, is right. very. This, this relates to conversation, so it's so lit being yeah. here. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Y'all have a like a YouTube page? No, but that's what that's what I want to essentially begin with the, the yeah. cooking with butter. Yeah, yeah. Conversation, and mm. then the whole like day to day type vibes. But you nice. always gotta have a camera rolling, yeah. and sometimes you need a cameraman. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's like having people on board is that is with with that is cool, but also you don't wanna you don't wanna have someone give you an inch and you take a mile automatically, right? Like you want to be able to compensate in a professional way at this yeah. point. Yeah, you know, like yeah. as the years go by, I'm not trying to give someone free gear for doing like a three hundred dollar job. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, like yeah. I want to give them bread. You're right. Yeah, yeah. bread. Yeah. You know? Right, right, right. That's a fact. Yeah, that's, a, that's that's the God's honest truth. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because you want people to know that you respect what they do. Yeah. yeah. And when someone does work for free, it's, and, and they know it's for free, they're not gonna put in their hundred. Mm -hmm. like, you know? Yeah. That's how yeah. it goes down. Yeah. Yo, what would you say, um, like advice to somebody that's in your field or want to do what you do? I would say, don't stay closed minded. Don't fall into like, don't fall into. Um, a place where you think that just one idea is gonna stick. Mm -hmm. You gotta be open minded, especially if it's streetwear. That's the beauty of streetwear; it's so versatile. Mm -hmm. You know, like yeah. you, I could do anything. You collab with, collab with anything, literally. Yeah. Like Prince and Supreme and all that stuff, right? <laughs> Fucking, they make a toaster. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The fuck I need. A lot of it's branding toaster. too. But I like, feel yeah. like if you're gonna be in streetwear, the only way to become successful is like to learn how to cooperate and communicate and work together because. I feel like streetwear is one of those few industries where it's so easy for you to just work with somebody. It's you so I mean? easy. That's it's facts. It's so simple because it like think about how we're here today. Like Instagram, just a couple DMs, and you know we're here. We pushing out content together. Facts. Like, it was a long time coming though to finally like yeah. link up, but that's so true, bro. Like yeah. you got like it's a matter of. Beyond what you guys are doing, it's a matter of do your characters even align? Yeah. Like, yeah. Are we, are, does our minds collaborate to the point where we can make something we couldn't make without each other? Right. Like, that's the type of vibe. Actually, I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot, so actually. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys got for the future? Oh. Well, <laughs> I appreciate oh, you shit. for asking. Yeah. No, that, I want to, yo, because my Toronto peoples are going to be like, yo, this guy's on a podcast lit. So then, like, <laughs> I want you guys to speak your talk. Uh, well, obviously. Podcast. We got, more podcasts that yeah. took them, you know what I'm yeah. saying? We have these guys dropping merch. very <laughs> soon. Yeah. Merch coming yeah. out. Merch yeah. drop. Our pop up event. Pop -up. We're having two, two pop ups. Pop -ups. Yeah. yeah. Two pop ups. One, our solo pop up uh, for just our brand is going to be October 2nd. And then we have like a collaborative pop up coming up October 16th, I believe. Yeah. Collaborative in what way? Uh, it's just it, it's, it's like four four, designers. four different brands. Per, if oh, you okay, call it I was that. gonna say like shit like that it pops off in Toronto. It's so cool, like being part of the underground scene, mm. and it's like you're putting other brands together and you just yeah. grow. That's shit, yeah. I mean, yeah. you saying yeah. that makes me say, yo, you gotta make some shit happen. Oh yeah. Yo. So this trip, we if this Toronto? trip was longer, if this trip was longer, I would definitely. We would have definitely threw some shit. Yeah. 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 But like yeah, you yeah. said, we out to Toronto. Yo, we out to Toronto. We gotta take the trip. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Stone, you gotta get us on conversation, man. Conversation. Oh, like, yo. I mean, I'm not gonna say yeah, anything more, but you know, you know what I'm saying? This is this is top shelf shit, man. I don't know how you can say we about to bleep all of this shit out now. Yeah. Shit. I mean, so this is something that we usually do on this show. Uh we got it from who? Who started it first? I think it was Nori. Nori. Yeah. Shout, shout out yeah, to Drink Nori. Champs. Drink Champs. Shout out to Drink yeah, Champs. Shout out my to cup. Champs. I don't have a lot in it, but you know I had something. Um, <laughs> we generally just uh, give people flowers. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it could be a person, it could be an industry, it could be a group of people, whoever you 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 know what I mean. You, you want to think about or whatever you want to think about. You know. Who I give my flowers to right now? Yeah. yeah. I give it to uh, Nigo. Ooh. I give it to, um, bro. I give it to. I give it to a lot of people that came up from different situations. You know, it's like it's something that you learn yourself that no one will understand when uh, you come from somewhere that you didn't think you could come from. Mm -hmm. You know, like mm -hmm. it's sick. Like, um, but yeah, Nigo for sure. If we're gonna talk about one person, I fuck with Nigo, Pharrell. Yeah. Um, 
Hiro- Hiroshima. That's the guy that Nico was working for. Okay. Yeah. Nice. That's, that's, you said Pharrell too, you said? Pharrell with the ice cream and the ice cream. And see, now it's cool, like, being able to afford that stuff. Because back then, yeah. I couldn't. It's, it's so similar to with butter. Because, like, <coughs> I got the. So when I first started, I had the younger the younger youths uh, rocking with butter. And mm. then it's so cool seeing them grow up. Yeah. Because now they got money to blow and like, they buy butter. Yeah. And it's like, yo. I feel like that's a great audience to like really be in tune with is like younger crowds, you know? They're the future. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. We're the gonna, future. They're going to grow with the brand. And if like, yeah. if you appeal to them, that's then you fun. kind of are in the trend, if you want to yeah. say, you know what I'm Yeah. Saying? Facts. Because that, that's why it is trippy to see like older designers making shit that the youth fuck with. Mm-hmm. And I think it's a matter of just playing part of that lifestyle. Yeah. 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 Well, you tapped in, you know what I'm saying? You don't got to, like, try to, oh, let me see what the the young kids are like. Nah, this is just, I think this is dope. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I remember Jay-Z yeah. had once said, like, yo, I just have young people around me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they keep me young. Oh, you know what I'm word. You get that feeling. You get young that feeling. is a mindset. You're old is a yeah, mindset. Exactly. That's for real. It doesn't yeah, matter how yeah, old yeah. you are. Yeah. Shit. So, I mean. But who'd you give you guys flowers to? All right, I'll go. Um... I'll I'll give the flowers to uh, DJs right now, yeah. you know, because yeah. I've been going to a few functions, just like shooting and stuff. But it's like the DJs set the mood, they set the vibe, they they do a lot of work, you know, to like get the party going. And oh, in the background, yeah, no, for real, it's, yeah. like, it's like producers. Yeah, wouldn't it be nothing without the actual. Yeah, the function. track. Yeah, yeah, that's a finish. You know what I'm saying? And that's it's a skill. I've I've been like saying this for a while now. I just want to fuck around and get a controller and just. Learn how to DJ. Just honestly. do it like on the low key. Yo, that's like, a just, vibe, just for like, fun, bro. I remember it one was so time fun. we would be f- shooting, and in between, when I was getting changed, Ant had this DJ app on his phone yeah. that had like a ten day fucking free trial, bro. He would not stop playing Yo, with that shit, bro. It's fun. For no how, no matter how long, bro. We put it on the JBL speaker, bro. We was we was shooting, and he was DJing on the fucking shit, bro. I'll never forget that. Yo. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Uh, Oh shit! I give my flowers to um first of all Andy for holding it back down there, yeah. you know, hand it, holding down the cameras. You know what I'm saying? Love. Shout, Shout out, out to Andy. Andy. Is Andy or Ching? It's, it's whatever he wants it to be. You know he's what I'm an saying? enigma. Right. He's an enigma. <laughs> 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 nah, but uh, <laughs> I give my flowers to you know wasting my twenties. You know my family. That's you know these are my peoples. You know and this. Uh, my boy gave the same flowers as the last yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you know it's genuine. That's, real, that's how you that, know that's it's genuine. Real, that's real. That's yeah, consistent. That's, that's real. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess mine, it's like a, I mean, not usually serious, but like on a more serious note, I don't want to give my flowers to uh, all of the Haitians that got turned away at the border Yo. recently. Yeah. Um, uh, they, they've been dealing with a lot of uh, just bullshit, you know what I'm saying, between the the, the president being assassinated and uh, the earthquake that happened maybe like within the same month or um, like within yeah. like a, a few weeks span. Uh, a lot of them made their way over to the border in hopes of them seeking some type of like refuge or asylum and a lot of them, or if not all of them got turned away. So my flowers are with them, you know what I'm saying, my thoughts are with them, my prayers are with them, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Word. Shit. And, uh, <coughs> you know, just like that. Like <laughs> Some that. Just say. like that. Some will say. We, and actually, yeah, before yeah. we before we sign up, we got to make sure we, we know where to find you. So, where oh, can word, we find word, you? Word, word, word. So, uh, the Instagram is butter on the commas. Straight, just like that. Sorry. Everything died. <laughs> oh, word. Word. Except for that. So, he's just going to How much time are we at? We're at uh, 56. That's been an hour already? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It, Damn. Goes, it goes like that. Yeah. That's lit. Just like that. That's super lit. You said everything died? Except for that one. Okay, cool. Which, the the DJ, DJI died? Apparently. How? It was like on Technical f- difficulties. Technical if difficulties. You're listening on Spotify. Yeah, so Butter on the Commas on Instagram, Butter on the Commas dot club, um, on the e commerce. And yeah, soon enough, hopefully pop up. Do some more pop ups out here. Yeah. Do some, and so, like, do a pop up out here. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, you know what I'm like, saying? It's, Throw an it's, event fire. You know what I'm saying Coming soon Coming soon yep. You know what I'm saying <laughs> We not wasting time But this is The Wasted Podcast yes. hey. Hey. And we out on this hey. speech Yeah Good hey. shit fellas Good shit I fucks with this This was calm